Engine exhaust noise is the dominant contributor towards environmental noise pollution and in all the automobiles we use a device what is known as a muffler or a silencer which controls the noise emission from the IC engine internal combustion engine to the atmosphere. So mufflers have been uh, used or uh, the analysis or design of such devices has been carried out since several decades and uh, almost every um, acoustics course talks about especially the courses um, which present to you different aspects of noise control engineering, they talk about mufflers. But a dedicated course on the theory or the analysis of mufflers um, is not there in NPTEL set of lectures. So this NPTEL um, uh, set of lectures will present for the first time uh, the analysis and design um, uh, of mufflers. So while we, while we assume that uh, certain the, the students have a certain or, or a, some background in acoustics, but um, I will start off with the derivation, detailed derivation of the one dimensional uh, wave equation and then moving on to the three dimensional wave equation. And as we move into the course, as we go deeper, I will present to you different terminologies used in acoustics and just to make people more comfortable. And um, uh, the second chapter or the, uh, the second um, week of lectures is where we will probably go with uh, proper uh, derivation of a three dimensional wave equation and uh, how it is related to the one dimensional things. And in the next few lectures, ne next set of lectures, I uh, will introduce something like a electroacoustic analogies and lump system analysis and talk in detail about the theory of acoustic filters. So basically uh, uh, any commercial muffler is made of a, a large number of or different complicated parts. Uh, perforates, dissipative materials, sudden, sudden area expansions of course and uh, external inlet and outlets. So what we will do, the, the basic, um, the motivation behind uh, the maybe the week 3 or 4 or 5 would be to present to you in detail using the perhaps the most simplified theory, the one dimension analysis or the planar wave propagation analysis of the constituting elements such as the sudden area expansion, uh, extensions and um, uh, perforates and also incorporating the effects of mean flow, the convective effects of mean flow. So next we will probably consider uh, a little more complex muffler uh, which is known as a multiply connected muffler in which the wave propagation path can be non-unique and present to you some network analysis uh, of analyzing such mufflers although use, using only one dimension theory. Uh, but in actual practice the field inside, the acoustic field inside the muffler is three dimensional in nature. That is the waves need not necessarily go only along the axis, they can also go along the radial direction or the angular direction. So to properly take into account the three dimensional or the multi uh, directional nature of the acoustic field well within the chamber and also within the inlet and outlet ports, uh, I will present to you different analytical modeling uh, that is used to uh, analyze different mufflers such as a point source model, a green function model, a piston driven model and so on. So uh, although we will consider only simplified, uh, very simple configurations because these techniques are all analytical, so but this will give us a good idea um, of, of how three dimensional effects are important and uh, the way it can be considered. Now um, possibly based on some time limitation, we can probably just touch upon the three dimensional numerical analysis which is of course the finite element scheme very popular, u, popularly used in industries and there are so many commercial packages available and also perhaps boundary element methods. So um, those probably I leave it for a later course but present to you some important packages, uh, commercial packages and the basic algorithm uh, that is used for three dimensional uh, finite element analysis of such mufflers um, and also uh, another important thing is to, exp uh, is to basically experimentally validate the analytical or numerical models. So uh, we can also based on the time constraints we can consider this uh, experimental analysis in this course or maybe in a later course but uh, we will see how we go with that part, experimental part and then I uh, will touch upon some important um, elements which is, which is known as dissipative mufflers that is a lined muffler with uh, linings or line duct 
and present you some simple analytical models how to um, predict the transmission loss performance that is the one of the performance measures of uh, such mufflers. Uh, towards the end of this course or towards the last few lectures, uh, that is something that is very important. So, what I intend to do is to present a very complete picture of how to design or select a muffler given uh, different constraints. Although this will be based only on um, the, uh, the simplified planar wave analysis and a little bit about 3D analysis, analytical part, but uh, this can give us a good idea uh, to how to carefully select a muffler where you have number of competing factors such as back pressure considerations and uh, at the same time one wants to achieve a high transmission loss or attenuation performance and number of other um, uh, other considerations like breakout noise and so on. So, uh, the concluding chapter then will be the final outcome of this course that how, how exactly is this knowledge is the entire knowledge is useful for designing or selecting a muffler uh, for a muffler designer or for a student. So, uh, well to finally conclude this course will uh, I hope this course will evolve into a uh, properly um, uh, well well planned and important advanced undergraduate uh, or maybe a beginner postgraduate course and students I hope the students find this useful and so should the people who work in the in the industry who would like to get some exposure to the muffler analysis. Um, I hope um, this course becomes popular and we get you know I, we get more chance, more interaction opportunities to present to you in detail about some advanced uh, topics. So, um, with this note, I would uh, welcome you to the course on muffler acoustics with application to exhaust noise and um, uh, all the best. <laughs>